Anyway, Slay the Spire, play Silent. Shivron, maybe Shivron. I don't really know what I want to do with this character. Alright, lose all gold for a rare relic. Hell yeah. So we get the gambling chip. Alright. Well, we've kind of more or less conclusively proved that rolling the mystery machine is about the most successful thing I can do. Fortunately, this run is kind of bad for that. I guess if we go this way, that's the highest amount of mystery machinage we can do. Yeah, sure. Oh, right. Gotta go with this one. I am distracted. Alright, so I can discard anything I want. Well, he's not gonna hit me on this one. So let's try and shiv... Oh, thanks. Let's try and shiv him as hard as we can early. I find cultists so adorable. Hey, cultists are amusing. I, I like the way that they just wiggle their arms around. Alright, so let's weaken him. And honestly, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the damage. Usually what I try and do is mitigate the damage early. And uh the problem is he gets four strength per turn. You more or less just have to eat whatever damage he throws at you and son of a Alright. Well I guess I'll just block this. One more one more strike and we'll take him down. Yeah, I'd love for the final upgrade to actually be like, you can customize your deck with like a point buy system. That'd be nice. Alright. Um Eight damage, next turn get energy. That's really good. So we either do flying knee or slice. And I'm not really sure. It's... I, a shiv deck would be really funny. Just something where I'm just stacking tons of zero-cost cards. Yeah, let's go Flying Knee. Three more damage and about the same effect. Okay. Give him the flying knee. I'll stab him too. Yeah, flying knee is worthwhile. It'll be interesting to see what kind of weird... Weird other builds that can come up with this character. Unfortunately, we're kind of waiting on... Uh, we always have to wait for, like, a relic or a card to show up to kind of determine the build. And, I mean, I don't want to besmirch the gambling chip. No, I'm going to besmirch the gambling chip. It really doesn't actually have much of an effect. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, define or change a build in any way, shape, or form. Apart from just being like, oh, yeah, that's kind of neat. It'll kind of help my early game. All right, uh... Deadly Poison is amazing, but I'm gonna pick up Catalyst. We might end up doing another Heavy Poisoner run. I can remove a card from my deck. Would I even remove anything? I mean... <sighs> Let's get rid of just a, a basic strike. They're helpful. Alright, and we get the relic. The sundial. Every three times you shuffle your deck, gain two energy. Yep, that's helpful. Yeah, I don't have any curses yet. Yeah, this this will work. Okay, so let's do neutralize. Cut his damage down. Hit him with a flying knee. Throw up a defend, and then hit him again. 
Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna end up doing another Poisoner build here. Um, especially with, like, the Sundial. But also, it really depends on what we pick up. Oh... I had an extra point of energy there. Okay, that was confusing. Neutralize. I'll just block him. We'll take a little bit of damage. We have campfires aplenty on this track. And upgrades will be nice, but we don't have much to upgrade yet. Okay, uh, dodge and roll, block. Now let's go deadly poison. Okay, so I can rest, or I could upgrade. Upgrading deadly poison is kind of pointless. Upgrading the fi flying knee is through more damage. Catalyst Plus is amazing, but I think right now let's just go for let's go for the heals. Cuz I believe no, we've got still a ways to go before I do anything else. Okay. Shuffling. Okay, so it's this one. So Adrenaline and Purity. Let's go random. Writhe and skewer. So that's six is skew. Let's see, seven is that maneuver. Hey! Okay, and skewer. I don't actually know if these are that helpful, but that's fine. Alright, yeah, the two more poison is really nice. You're correct on that? Um, I'm just mostly thinking about how to keep myself alive here. I'm gonna keep playing it safe. We get the shovel. Oh, that's... Okay, that's a huge bonus. And we're up against Mr. Mitosis. Alright, so what do we get rid of? Well, he's not going to be doing anything immediately, so let's, um... See if I can get a catalyst early. Nope. Skewer is not bad. Let's hit him with a poison, though. And a flying knee. Okay, we're frail. But I don't block that often. Okay. So, outmaneuver will give me extra energy. Hit him. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do. I guess we'll just double his poison. If anything, we need the ice cream on this guy. Ice cream is kind of helpful on iron Ironbound, but ice cream makes, um... Ice cream makes this character kind of unstoppable. Um... I might actually be able to one-shot this guy <laughs> before he even splits. Oh, flawless. Okay, uh, footwork. Yeah, footwork is good. Okay. That was the problem, so he doesn't have much to start with. Let's get rid of Skewer. Honestly, let's get rid of everything except for... Strike. Okay, here's what I'm looking for. Alright, so let's hit him with Deadly Poison. Let's hit him with Neutralize. Let's use Outmaneuver. And Footwork. Ah, uh, I should have used Flying Knee. Well, Footwork footwork will be helpful. This guy hurts pretty bad. Okay. So let's do Defend, Defend... Catalyst, and then just stab the shit out, of, shit out of him. Okay. Yeah, this is why I wanted to heal. Because this guy scares me. Always has, always will. 
Let's do outmaneuver, flying knee. I doubt we're going to have uh, Skewer show back up, but I can use pretty much all of my cards next round. Ow. Deadly poison. Are you serious? I needed all of this last round. Ugh. We really need ice cream. Hate going into straight up beat down brawls with this guy, especially when I don't don't do that much damage, but we need it. He hurts. We'll be fine. Ugh. Skewer would be helpful. I would do 18 damage to him. Yeah. And he dies. Uh tiny chest? Hell yeah. And Endless Agony is nice, but it's not that helpful. Blade Dance would be cool, but it looks like we're going down the route of poison once again. So let's go with that. Okay. Um, so we can get two question marks this way, but we have the shovel. We're going digging. All right. That's completely useless to me. Uh, let's see. So what do we... We've got the mushrooms, so we don't need Catalyst on the first round. Outmaneuver is pretty good. Let's get rid of Skewer. Survi survivor. No, we'll hold on to Survivor. Outmaneuver is good. Let's get rid of Strike. Okay, let's see what we get instead. Garbage. Go for the one in the back. Now if I defend, we get seven. I'll just use that maneuver. This will set me up so I can just wail on these guys. Let's see, grow. Yep, figured I should go for, go for the guy in the back. Because they boost their strength, and that's really annoying. Uh, let's see, so 14 damage. I will take one. I can hit him. Yeah, let's, be, let's hasten their design, uh, design, demise, just a little bit. Bouncing Flask is so strong, IMO. It is, Bouncing Flask is amazing. I mean, most, most of these cards are great. Bouncing Flask remains kind of one of my favorites. All right, um. Let's do Flying Knee, Deadly Poison, Catalyst. And block. Yeah, I could have, I could have poisoned this guy and catalysted him some more, or I could just bouncing flask him a bunch. All right, and we're done. And let's get another catalyst. All right, so this is this is going, this is shaping up. We're being railroaded into being. Okay, what's the ring of the snake? Start a combat, get two extra cards. This is a new one. An odd creature with a hunchback sprouting several tentacles is scrounging through a pile of trash and debris in front of you. As you approach, he shuffles towards you in a non-threatening manner. Loth hungry. Feed Loth. Let's get rid of the ring of the snake. If I can get rid of both of them, I will. All right, so instead we get Loth's gift. Triples the chance of receiving rare cards as monster rewards. Hell yeah! Holding the relic out towards him, Noth snatches it out of your hand with his tentacles, dislocates his jaw, and slips down your offer in one quick gulp. He gives you a large toothy grin as more tentacles appear from behind his cloak. These ones brandishing an impossibly neat looking box. He pushes it towards you until you take it. Alright, so I could dig for a relic or I could heal. If I heal... 
I don't go up to full. Do we risk it on the first boss for a random relic? Risk it! Ooh, yep, that'll save my ass. In retrospect, this might have been a bad move. Well, okay, so let's get rid of... So he's not going to attack me. I don't even know what his first attack is. Well, let's get rid of Skewer. It's no good. Okay. So Deadly Poison. Catalyst. And either... Flying Knee or Outmaneuver. I don't... Let's do Outmaneuver. Because, yeah, this way I get five free block every turn. My god, that's going to hurt, though. Okay, neutralize. Catalyst. Defend. Whale on him. Ah, we're not going to do enough damage. So here's the thing. He switches forms. Oh, this is going to hurt. I can't survive a whole lot of those. All right, footwork. Bouncing Flask. Alright, that'll save my butt. Do we... Well, he's gonna do something, but he's gonna do nothing. Okay, so Sharp Hide sucks. And he's gonna hit me. For 9 damage. I'm gonna hit him for weakness... That actually was not worth it in the slightest. Well, we only take... We only take one damage. Alright. Bouncing Flask isn't an, isn't an attack. Let's do... Survivor. Discard that defend. We're going to use the energy potion to use outmaneuver and defend. Okay. Let's see, so we got to do 40 damage to him to get him to switch. I think that'll be easy enough. Just in case he does hit me. I think that's immediately going to put him into defensive mode. Which keeps him down pretty well. Okay, so he does have Sharp Hide. I have Skewer. I can hit him for... not nearly enough. Deadly Poison. Block. And... Skewer. I'll take a little... I'll take five damage from this. Alright, and we're gold, golden. We are near death, but we are golden. Let's just throw... Let's just throw more poison at him, just because. Boop. Okay, that was risky... Risky business, but it did get me... In Venom. It's not as good. But anything to give me poison. Alright, what do we got? One extra energy every turn. No longer use potions. F add five cards. Um... I don't really use po potions that much. For one energy each turn? Hell yeah. I mean, shame about the regen potion that I just got. But... Long run, this is going to save me a lot of trouble. So I've got 261 gold. We want to be on the campfire track. I don't really see a whole lot of bonus campfires here. We might as well ride the mystery machine. Go this way. There are not many campfires here. Holy crap. Alright, whatever. What does the ingot do? Five block every round. Uh, if I have none. Okay, so I don't... Know what these guys are gonna do? Let's get rid of Catalyst. 
Let's get rid of Strike. Well, that didn't get me much of anything. Go for the guy in the middle. Okay. So... Do I start with five energy? No, I only start, start with four. That's weird. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's neutralize this guy. Outmaneuver, defend, and survivor. Can't even use catalyst. We really need ice cream. Imagine if I had ice cream. I would have I would be able to use every card in my hand every turn. I did start with five energy. Oh, you're right. It's like five out of six out of four. Gotcha. Alright, unfortunately I'm gonna take some damage here. Which sucks. Huh. Well, I guess I'll poison the shit out of that one. Probably should have just hit the guy in the back, now that I'm thinking about it. Well, let's see if the poison damage takes off his flight. No, it doesn't, and it resets. Bleh. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> These birds remind you of my spore nightmares. Huh. You're not wrong about that. All right, well, let's check a catalyst at this bird. Throw a defense. Um. Okay, he's just straight up dead. And yeah, I, don't, I can't use the potions. All right. Well, I'll take a little bit I'll take a little bit more damage. We don't have as much energy because I'm not full health anymore. But that's okay. Now here's here's a question. So he's gonna do thirteen damage to me. I'm normally I would use uh bouncing flask. But right now I'm just gonna avoid the damage. I'd rather fight this guy slowly than kill him fast. I really wish Ori Helkin would just give me five block all the time. That plated armor, I think, was better. But that's okay. Alright, so we have neutralize, which does reduce his damage. Yes. Flying knee. Strike. And he's... Grounded, but that's fine. And Wander doesn't have Venomology. Nope. We'll get there. Acrobatics, draw four cards, discard one. Now we want to get Infinite Blades. It's not as good as, uh... It's not as good as, like, Venomology would be. But it's got its purposes. Okay, so let's get rid of... Oh, they're probably going to hit me. Let's get rid of Strike. Okay. Do I know when this game comes out? I believe it's only in a couple of days. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, well, footwork. Defend, defend. Neutralize and strike. Only gonna take three here. We need poison flask. Oh my cash. The guy in the back is running. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill him even if I wanted to. I'll kill one of them. But yeah, there's no way I can prevent this guy from leaving. Even if I wanted to. If we had Catalyst, I'd, I'd actually get real close. But he leaves. With my cash. 
Plated armor degrades each hit, and Ori Halcom is good for a common relic. Except for Ori Halcom, I almost never use. Let's get prepared. Okay. Well, let's see what I can buy. Gremlin horn. Ho <laughs> uh, ho Sneko skull. No. I think I'm going to have to go with the Sneko Skull, just because it's so much rare. So here's the thing. Um, Noxious Fumes, if I could just afford it, would apply two poison to all enemies. However, Sneko Skull is more useful in the long run. No. Yeah, I wish you could sell potions. But you can't you can't sell potions. That'd be awesome if you could. I I really wish you could sell rare cards or something like that. You son of a get out of here. He's taunting me with those noxious fumes. Yeah, I don't want to get crippling poison that much. All right, let's check the map. So I have a hard enemy. I'm gonna have to heal here. I'd like to fight, but we are we are too injured. Oh, I could have hit the second one. I didn't even. I'm sorry, brain. Okay, so let's get rid of skewer. I'm gonna get rid of. No, let's let's keep infinite blades. Footwork. Sorry, my my, I was too busy being offended that I didn't actually process. What did happen? Okay, I'm just gonna kill this guy. We'll find it again. Like it'll it'll show back up. Oof. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, neat thing is I get shivs. So Mad Gremlin... Mad Gremlin is a problem. That's gonna hurt. I'll knee him. And more or less just block as hard as I... I freaking can. I was mostly focused on the fact that this guy was coming in. Uh, ow. We gotta kill the mad gremlin in the back. Alright, well let's... see. So he has 21 HP. Let's toss prepared. Let's get rid of... both of those. Do bouncing flask. Damn it. I'll have to finish them off in the next round. At least the weaken helps. So rally. What's rally do? Ah, oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay, we're fine. Alright, so we're gonna take some damage here. But I have a whole lot of energy. Shiv him. Strike him. Okay, he's dead. Catalyst this guy. Buff that poison. Work on killing this guy and buff our armor a little bit. I'm still gonna take three damage, it looks like. But I can take three damage. Nope, more than three damage. Ow. Okay. Shoot. Am I... I'm gonna die here. 
Let's start by neutralizing this guy. That's down to 27. Let's toss... Be prepared up. I'm gonna get rid of flying knee. And shiv. Okay, so we're gonna defend. Defend. Deadly poison this gremlin so he dies. And outmaneuver. I think I'm gonna barely survive this one. 7 HP. Yep, that's bad. Alright, so let's do Bouncing Flask. Catalyst. Let's see, and then can I just skewer this guy to death? And we'll just shiv him. Okay. <laughs> he just gave his entire team a strength boost. What team? Okay. Still alive. Just ending turn. Letting this happen. Kill the big guy, the rest run. Yeah, but they're dangerous. Whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck. That's amazing. And more bouncing flasks, the better. Alright, we've got a campfire right here, so I'm going to have to go this way. Uh, pray to remove a card from my deck. I am going to get rid of Strike. Bottled Lightning. I can choose a skill card to be... Always in my starting hand. Deadly Poison or Outmaneuver? Let's do Deadly Poison. Alright, we get Bottled Flame. That's an attack card. Same deal. Um, I don't know, Flying Knee. So there's a Campfire here or a Mystery here. Let's go for the monster. We gotta go for the campfire. I am so close to death. Okay, uh, so I've got some defense. This is fine. This is really scary. Yeah, I could, I could still die on this fight anyway. The mystery machine had the chance of getting me back up to full. Okay. Let's do Survivor. Drop a strike. Oh, I'm going to be near death for this one. so close to death. And she heals herself, but she's so poisoned it doesn't matter. Okay, so he's defending. That gives me some time. Envenom. Infinite blades. Be prepared. We're not going to get hit. I'll just use that maneuver. She dies. He scares me. Oh, that's real bad. Let's do footwork. Defend. Defend. Yeah, I die here. Because he's going to do 24, and I only have 4 HP. There I go. It was a great run. We do get unlocks, though. Unplayable. If this is discarded from your hand, deal 7 damage to a random enemy. 
discarded from your hand, draw a card. Gained an energy. So tactician and underhanded strike are pretty damn good. That was rough. I kind of want to do that again. Let's do that again. I'm, I need a drink, though. 